This is Math 99, Section 12.5, and we're going to talk uh, more about logarithms, and we're going to talk about the common and the natural logs. And so these are just basic logarithms, um, and let's start with this one, log base 10. Uh, we talked last time about log base 10, like log base 10 of 100 is 2. Log base 10 is just asking 10 to what power is that is that input, so in this case it's 100. Um, log base 10, base 10, our, our number system is base 10. We have 10 fingers uh, mostly. We have 10 toes. Um, this is called the common log. And it's actually so common that we, we don't even write the 10. If I just say log 100 and there's no base written in here, it's an implied base 10. So this base 10 is implied if it's logarithm without a base. So that's two. So I could evaluate things like. Uh, you know, log of one one thousandth. If it's not written there, it's a base ten, so that would be that would be negative three. And uh, there's another one, the natural log. So ten to the power of is undone by log that by the common log, e to the power of x. So we talked about e um, as that as that base of when we had unchecked uh, compound growth or or something like that. This is called the natural base. So log base E, instead of having to write log base E over and over again, we write natural log LN. Um, and I, I don't speak French, but it comes from log de naturale. Did that sound French? Um, but natural log, this means log base E. So if I said natural log of E to the fifth, natural log means log base E of E to the fifth. In other words, E to what power? is e to the fifth, it's five. Or if I said natural log of 175, this is asking e to what power gives me 175. Now that's tough to figure out uh, in my head, natural log of 175. And so it would be, for example, log of 175. Right, this is as asking 10 to what power gives me 175. But the common no log and the natural log are used so often they have their own buttons on the calculator. So this log right here, this is log base 10, and natural log right here is log base E. And if you'll notice, it's kind of convenient because their inverses are right above them, 10 to the, so second is 10 to the, um, or second natural log is me e to the x. So if I want a natural log of 175, I can just do that on my calculator. So this is nice, some of these logs, like log base E and log base 10, I can just do on my calculator. So that being said, uh, I'm going to do a couple of these, do some on my calculator, do some uh, in my head. So like I said, some of these you could do on your calculator. Um, for example, if I had log of 573, that's just something I could just do on my calculator. It's log, it's log base 10. 10 to what power is that number? So I would go log, uh, I think it was 573 if I remember. Must be 2.75. So that means notice if I go 10 to that power, I should get 573 back. Now I rounded it a little bit, so I'm a little bit off from 573. But log base unmentioned is log base 10. That's the same as 10 to the. Same thing with natural log. If I wanted to go natural log of uh, 532, natural log of 532, this is about the 6.727. That means if I go e to that power, I should get, oh, I forgot my decimal. Um, I 
so it was natural log of oh, shoot <laughs> that's kind of funny uh 573 so if i go e to the 6.35088 should be close to 573 yeah a little rounding cuz i cuz i rounded that off so that's, that's what those symbols mean um let's play around with them a little bit natural log of e i could do that on my calculator but i know that this is this is the same as log base e of e e to what power gives me e must be 1 because natural log and e to the undo each other Similarly, if I asked a uh, natural log of e to the fifth, right, this is asking e to what power gives me e to the fifth, it must be five. e to some power, call it a, gives me that power back. Now, other things like natural log, we've already done some things like that at 622. I'm just going to do that in my calculator. That would give me that kind of answer. Um, same thing with some of my some of my log values. So that being said, let's solve a couple of equations that have these in them. So for example, um, log of x equals one. Well, I know that this log of x means log base ten. So this is asking ten to the first power must equal x right i just rewrote it remember logarithms spit out exponents that's the exponent and the 10 is implied so i just rewrote it well, it looks like x must be 10. so that means that log base 10 of 10 is 1. yeah that makes sense to me uh, let me do another one natural log of x equals 2 times log 13. interesting so um this 2 log 13 this is just a number i could just uh, figure out what that is on my calculator looks like it's about 2.228 i'll do a little bit of rounding here 2.228 so natural log of x equals that now, I'm not sure what to do here, so I'm going to rewrite it. I know that natural log is log base e. You don't have to rewrite that step if you can instantly go to. That means e to the power of the, that answer. Remember, the answer to a logarithm is the exponent equals x. So now I just have to go e to the power of that, and that should give me a good estimate for x. Um, e to the power of, and I said it was 2.228 about. Looks like the answer should be about 9.281. We do one more example like this. If I had a natural log of x equals negative two, natural log of seven. Interesting. So I could turn this into a decimal, right? Like this is just a number. So I think that what I'm what I'm going to do is I'll just leave it like this and I'll put it all in my calculator at once. Natural log means log base e. And again, I'm just rewriting this for, for clarity. You don't really have to write it that way if you see right away that um sorry, my seven looks like a z. Let me fix it up. If you see right away that e to the power of the answer, the answer of a logarithm is the exponent, e to the power of this equals x. So really, I could just enter this into my calculator because it's just e to some number, and it should give me the answer. So let me try that. That's a negative 2 natural log of 7. So I want to go e to the, notice I went, I went second and then the e to the x, and it was negative 2 uh, natural log of seven and I get about 0 0.0204 
and there's my answer. And notice I could I could check it pretty easily. If I took this number and plugged it into there, it should give me whatever that value is. All right, uh, so take some time evaluating log and natural log. Use your calculator, take some time rewriting them. If you're not sure how to solve it, rewrite it from a log statement to an exponential statement and send me any questions that you have.